Hello my friends and welcome to Flying Circus Models. This is the third part of my current project Spot 13 from Rodin painting. So the both uh, fuselage sides were glued uh, to the lower wing and to each other with no issues and I glued the top instrument panel. With uh, Rodin models, you need to dry fit almost every part uh, before gluing, and that's the reason why. I had to remove uh, some plastic uh, on the top fuselage part, uh, because uh, as you saw, it didn't match. Also, I had to trim uh, instrument panel as well. Only after doing that, I was able to glue the top part of the fuselage. Metal cowls uh, had some ventilation holes and I used a scriber tool to open them a little bit. I did that on all ventilation holes uh, that model has, bottom and the top ones. Moreover, I had to drill the same vents uh, on the top cowling, and uh, as you can see, there are a lot of them, like too many, uh, and uh, I spent the whole evening uh, drilling those holes. Right now, uh, I think I'm thinking about uh, buying some electric uh, tool for that. I don't know uh, who had that brilliant uh, idea to make wings not as one part, uh, but with some extra pieces. Uh, my feedback is better not to do it in the future, uh, because I had to use uh, a lot of putty to fill uh, the gaps uh, between uh, those parts, and I sanded it with 400 and 600 grit sandpapers.
When all ascending job was uh, completed on both wings and bottom uh, side of the fuselage, I cleaned the model with uh, alcohol and uh, covered with Mr. Surfacer 1000 uh, gray primer. To show the ribs on each wing, I used 1mm Tamiya masking tape and applied it on top and lower sides of each wing and uh, the tail section of the plane. Then everything uh, was painted with Mr. Hobby black paint and um, you can see much lighter wing ribs once the mask is removed. After removing masks, uh, I noticed uh, that the layer of primer with black paint uh, was missing. Probably I didn't clean uh, the surface enough uh, with the alcohol and primer didn't stick to the plastic very well, but it stuck to the masking tape instead. That changed my plan about uh, painting the camo. Firstly, I thought about using masking tape uh, like uh, on my previous AEG project. Um, but that became too risky now, so I decided to use blue tack adhesive material. The painting scheme will be for Balloon Buster, uh, Second Lieutenant Frank Luke, and uh, the plane number 26 with a standard camo and blue nose. The bottoms were painted with Vallejo Biesch color and uh, we need to use multiple very thin layers of the paint in order not to destroy the pre-shading.
The first part uh, of the camo is uh, Tamiya Dark Yellow and I painted uh, only some parts of the model based on the color references. For the brown color I used the mix of uh, wood brown and cocoa brown with approximately 10 to 3 ratio. Here you can see the blue tuck masking. By the way, if you like my videos, please subscribe uh, to the channel and uh, support me on Patreon. You can use a special QR code to do it, and I will leave the link in the description. Thank you. Okay, so back uh, to the painting process. Um, the next color is a Tamiya XF71 cockpit green and again a lot of thin layers uh, to keep the shading. Same steps for Mr. Hobby Field Green Paint. And uh, the color, uh, the final color was just the black one. Uh, 
Now we can remove masking and uh, what I really like with blue tag that it doesn't stick uh, to the paint too much. And uh, if you have something left uh, on the surface, you can uh, remove it with another blue tag material. The central section of the top wing is uh, an anti-gravity fuel tank and I will uh, paint it with uh, copper later. Here's the finished main paint job. However, we need to paint some other details. Radiator cowl with blue color and ruder with national red, white and blue colors. As you can see, I left ventilation holes uh, open and the real plane had uh, some kind of net. Uh, I thought a lot about the material I can use to make it and uh, I decided to, to go with the simple solution. So I went to the local hardware store and uh, bought uh, the iRater screen for kitchen facet. It's not the exact match, but looks uh, very similar and uh, I had to just cut it uh, to the size. By the way, the engine, uh, engine was removed in order to get the better axis and I will put it back later. The whole model was uh, covered with the layer of future and uh, once it dried I started to apply decals. With the help of a micro set saw solution, decals uh, took the shape of the wind very nice and I didn't have any problems with them. And actually it's already the third model from Rodin that doesn't have uh, any issues with decals. So what can I say, great job Rodin and uh, you finally resolved the decal issue.
once all decals were applied, I covered them uh, with one more layer of feature. And uh, that's it for now. And uh, as usual, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press like button and leave your comments below. I read and reply to all of them. Also, if you would like to support my channel, you can do it on Patreon, where you can see my videos early. Also, I share some interesting pictures and stories there. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episodes.